Uh oh, big trouble. Someone broke a piece of the vase. So now someone has to pay for it. I'm gonna get out of here because it wasn't me that broke it. Hey guys, it's Collinwood here. And today I'm at the location in Huadwan, uh, if I pronounce that correctly, to show you a Chinese market that kind of has Chinese antiques and decorations for your home. They sell single pieces and do wholesale. It's beautiful furniture, beautiful trinkets you can put around. And this makes this a short one. We're gonna walk through and show you what type of furniture and beautiful things you can have. So let's go. It's all gonna be done by hand, so I hope you enjoy it. Shots for the kids, wooden Kleenex boxes, game sets, and abacuses. Now, my house doesn't have a lot of this stuff because my wife hates wood, and there's a lot of things with Chinese feng shui. Um, you cannot have wooden objects or like dead plants, and I believe it's the northwest side of your house. Uh, here's some beautiful tea sets. Come back around here. Now, a lot of this stuff is going to be ceramic. I mean, this might be a low quality jade or real good jade. If you're going to invest in a jade piece, I would say find a jade professional out here because there's many different qualities. These fountains are beautiful. If you like me to go further in depth and find out materials used to make it or pricing for import export reasons, um, let me know. And then, oh, this isn't your IKEA, right? This is all handcrafted wood pieces. Just beautiful. Like, look at this. And the smell in here is really nice too. Oh, that kid just flipped over on their scooter. Very nice vases or vases and religious statues of Buddha and looks like driftwood and tree parts. But then they've carved them into just magnificent art pieces. Again, my wife would not let me have this stuff in the house. We got a belt in bag shop. Looks like crocodile skins. Glass containers. Beautiful boat up there. Any snack shop, obviously. And teas. This guy just driving by. The 
this is actually the entrance I came in. The Huadawan Metro is just over to that side. You'll come in and you'll see the big buildings. Now they also have an upstairs. And this is what some of the things I wanted to show you. The rock formations that they have. Now if you believe in crystals and like salt and jade and stuff like that, this stuff is actually considered to be uh, very good to have in your house because it absorbs things like pollution and uh, bad energy if you believe in that. Um, I believe that minerals have a good vibe to them. And I have felt better when I've had things like rock salts or uh, salt rocks in my house. Especially here in China, there's a lot of moisture um, around because of the humidity. Maybe they help suck in some of the moisture and like, like a natural dehumidifier. a beautiful piece of jade still not fully refined and taken out the WeChat cart more tea sets I need to get a tea set myself I've really started to grow after my Beijing trip into enjoying a nice tea in the afternoon So actually, out of nowhere, it became a slow time of year for me. Let's just take a step into here. Slow time of year for me. I don't have a lot on my palate, so I've been able, to, as you guys can see, to bust out a ton more movies for you, or videos, I should say, ranging over many topics. Yeah. Speed walk up a little bit more, go out through this door. Now, are these antiquities, you know, thousands of years old? No, most likely not. A lot of them are just going to be pieces that are modernized. You know, recently hand carved, but these are pieces that will last. Like I said, this is not your IKEA furniture. You buy this stuff and hand it down in your house to generations of family. One day this stuff will be considered antique. This guy's lighting an incense. Old phonograph. And see that shop looks like it has some older things like these clocks. Grandfather clocks in there. I don't want to bother him. Even some paintings. Oh, good. Let's. We're almost at the end of this, so let's go and see some of the paintings and statues that they have. More old photographic players and clocks. A whole ton. If I had more space in my house, you know, I, I would put that stuff all over my house. But And again, I'm not the final boss to say what needs to be done. My wife is going to be the one that says, ah, I want this in my house or not. This has a lot of beautiful pieces. This woman's getting her lunch. 
more let's walk through the furniture so you can see some of china's traditional furniture so like this looks almost like a sofa bed a lot of chinese apartments um, over here in guangzhou especially when you rent them they'll have a wooden chair like this one in the back yeah um the beds are often like this with a hard box spring on it cupboards usually aren't these nice they're a lot cheaper but the stuff here is pretty decent quality i would say so at the back of the building a lot more furniture as you can see right as you come off the metro that's the first door yeah let's walk over here and see the sword can you open she's going to show us the sword okay yeah so it's just show metal it's not folded over okay she uh, should yeah 1300 so just a nice little housing display piece nothing that breaks the bank but when you open it the metal i mean if you're a sword collector you want something that's quality something that's real not like tin no sharpened edge or anything um so i have a look here it's very nice but at the same time in my house i would need something more modern more comfortable so the furniture like chairs and beds and stuff i would not do but like the walkthrough or the cabinets the shelving units is something i definitely enjoy the look of so it would be a mix of modern and a mix of antiquity or i don't want to say ancient i mean it follows the design principles of that but more traditional let's, let's leave it at like this this piece here would be very nice in my house to put see they have the martel and some uh kwai cha mute on there some nice liquors it's that's a good functional idea to choose to use it anyways this is enough i've shown you a lot of this antique market i want you guys to leave a comment below and Tell me what you thought was beautiful, what you would want in your house, or if you have any questions about coming to Guangzhou or finding this location or go back and ask for a price on a cost or cost of an item that you've seen at a certain period of time, leave the comments. And uh, I think that's going to wrap this up. So, until next time, this is Hollywood. Take it easy.